We actually got way lighter than I expected or could even dream for. I will never understand how people are able to make blowouts last a week. I even slept with a silk bonnet and look at what my hair looks like. That sucks and I'm not supposed to wash it for like a week, but like I can't wear it like this. <laughs> it's gonna be a long journey to like a cool tone blonde, but I'm happy with this. I asked if I could do purple shampoo and he was like, I wouldn't cause I still, I mean, if you've ever been red and you know, it's like, I'm going to have warm undertones for like a fucking lifetime now, which is fine. Considering this is like the first time I've put bleach over all that red. If I do purple on this, he said it'll just like kind of look muddy, which makes sense color theory wise. Like what is this curl? <laughs> Cause it'll contrast the warmth even more. Whereas now with like a gold blonde, they're like the same tone. So just gonna ride this way for a little bit. We're going to the salty girl. Salty girl. It's uh, I haven't been, she hasn't been but it has really good reviews and it's like a seafood vibe, so. Hi, While we're driving to the bay, we got six hours and 10 minutes to go. We're also making a pit stop. We're not even an hour in and, <laughs> not even an hour in and we passed a wing stop and I was like, now we're gonna go get wing down. stop. We were gonna do in and out, but I don't know. Wing stop is what, wing stop and in and out both. They're those type of food where if you're craving it, you have to get it. Look at that. California born and raised, I ain't never seen these green. Can you tell that I'm stuck in a city 24 seven? Yes. I'm like, like green, a mountain? A mountain? So cool. Fries, well done. Oh, and the crispers. Look at these fries. They're perfect. Also, do we have a nap? Look at this. Glove compartment napkins are key. Oh, holy fuck. Look at that. Ooh, cheers. cheers. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy we got wow. this. Me too. Mm. This flavor is just so good too. It's a dry rub, but still has a little bit of moisture. Like the lemon pepper could be too dry. Mm -hmm. Perfect I, amount of kick. We got Vanderpump yeah. on the pop socket. Windows down right now, and it's 80 degrees. This is heaven. <laughs> I'm home. God, it feels good. I got a package from AG1. Love these. I got some of the individual packs and then some more vitamin D3 plus K2. Magic. I also want to thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. AG1 is so much more than a green drink. It really is foundational nutrition. Some of my favorite benefits are the immune defense, stress and mood balance, and focus and energy. I'm not a coffee drinker. I can't really handle that much caffeine. So I really like to get a natural source of energy from like my vitamins, my food. But that's why I love AG1. If there's a day where like I, you know, I might not be eating the perfect like nutrient balance three meals a day, I know that my dose of AG1 gives me everything I need. It's not a meal replacement, but I know it can supplement those vitamins I, not, I might not be getting from my food. A lot of vitamins can be kind of hard for the body to process, but AG1's team does extensive testing and manufacturing of their ingredients to really optimize that absorption in your body. Also, it really is an effortless daily habit. All you gotta do is take one scoop, throw it into eight to 12 ounces of water. I like to add a little squeeze of lemon. You could do coconut water, shake it up, stir it up, whatever. You could add ice 
slice and enjoy. I typically describe the flavor as kind of like a sweet, fruity, I almost want to lean like bubble gummy, but not in like an artificial way. But I noticed on this little pamphlet that just came with my new order, and it says that they actually extract essences from pineapple core and vanilla beans. They never use added sugar or artificial sweeteners. But of course, if you guys wanna check them out, I have a link for you. Go to drinkag1.com slash Kristen McAtee, or you can scan the QR code here. That'll get you a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first subscription. And thank you again, AG1, for sponsoring today's video. Just went grocery shopping, cause I have been eating out for like far too long. Actually, when I was in the Bay, I had a lot of home-cooked meals, but nothing like being home and cooking my own meals. I got some bread. I got this kombucha, Peach Paradise. Sounds good. Ooh, I got some of these. I can never find this brand anymore. I used to find it a lot in LA, but not so much out here. So I'm gonna make cookies tonight. Some almond milk for my chai in the morning. Veg, some lettuce, green beans parsley. I got some seaweed because I have some leftover connie salad for my pokey. So I thought they'd be good to dip it in. Oh my god, I got these. They look like a talky dupe. Zach's Mighty Rolled Tortilla Chips. Fiery nacho. I'm gonna melt water and I'm gonna try this in a sec. Artichoke. I think I want that for dinner tonight. I got some lemons. I got some gold potatoes because I kind of want to make like one portion of mashed potatoes and I thought that is Perfect. Filets of salmon. Two bananas. I haven't had bananas in a really long time, so why not? Some heirloom tomatoes. They looked so good at the grocery store and I cannot pass up an heirloom tomato like ever. Strawberries were on sale and they looked pretty good. They were like four bucks when they're usually like five grand. I got one thing of uh, cottage cheese because I thought these would be good dipped in it. I got an Olipop, which is good to have. My breakfast sausages, I love these. It's Friday night right now. Or no, it's Saturday night. <laughs> and I'm home alone because Alex is out at a soccer game, which is so random, but I just wanna make like my comfort food. I think I wanna do like the mashed potatoes, artichoke, shrimp, random ass combo, but like, oh, it just sounds so good. I am keeping it pretty low key. I, as you might know, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I got into a little accident on my way to the airport leaving the bay and at first I thought it was nothing. We were rear-ended pretty fucking bad and the other car was totaled, absolutely totaled. I'll put the picture here on screen. And then my parents' car looks like it didn't take too bad of an impact. I think it's cause it's like a really sturdy car. Oh, I forgot about these. I also got eggs. But they took it to the auto body shop and they were like, yeah, this well, certain piece of your car is totaled. So it's technically totaled now, which sucks. They love that car so much. It was really bad and I went and got an x-ray and the x-ray, nothing was too alarming to the doctor, which I'm just so grateful for. I, I didn't even think I needed an x-ray and then even the cops were like, sometimes it could take a few days for you to you know, feel the impact of any type of fender bender, whatever, go get a x-ray just to be safe. So I did once I got home to New York and they asked when it happened and I was like, oh, it happened the day before or like yesterday when I was there. He was like, oh, and then you got on a flight and you sat on a six hour flight. I was like, yeah. He was like, that was like the worst thing you could have done because I'm literally just sitting stagnant, lock literally allowing my joints to lock up more than they already are from the impacts but nothing i can do about it now so i'm feeling very crunchy and tight and i just need to take it easy for a little bit i'm just glad it, i'm not too bad my mom's okay too the other person though their airbag went off i know that they're like okay but they did go in an ambulance they like walked into the ambulance, so like I think they're okay. We didn't really get to talk to them too much. It was scary though. We were, if you if you know, you know, if you're in the Bay, um, we were leaving, we we're going towards the city through the Caldecott tunnel. And right outside the tunnel, there's this like really fast downslope part of the freeway. And literally as we're driving on it, I said to my mom like, God, oh what I was trying not to do. I hate when I rip the bag like that. I was like, people just fly down this. And she's like, yeah, they do. Like we were literally talking about how dangerous this part of the freeway was. And then all of a sudden we like look 
all these cars are like piled up, like just for traffic. Like there wasn't another accident or anything, but everybody was coming to a stop and you get so much speed. And I was like, shit, my mom like starts slowing down. We slow down fine. We don't, we're not even close to the people in front of us, like totally fine. And then we both look in the rear view mirror and we're both like, fuck, this person's not slowing down. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And I look at my mom and I said, don't brace. Cause I hear that's like the worst thing you could do in car accidents is like brace too much, but it's also a human reaction. So I then look back and poof, they just hit like so hard. It sounded so bad. Oh my God. It was like the scariest noise, to be honest. We were scared to even look at the back of our car. We were like totally assumed it was going to be so crunched in. I mean, we did the thing. We pulled off to the side, called the cops, whatever. But yeah, it was kind of scary. So be careful when you're driving. I have acupuncture tomorrow, some chiropractor work later this week, just to rehabilitate as quickly as possible because my body tends to hold on to things like this. So I want to like, you know, heal it as soon as possible. So let's eat some inflammatory chips. Mm. They're not like a talkie where they're like limey, but I could add lemon juice to this and it'd be just as good. I'm peeling my potatoes and this one's a heart. <gasps> like a tiny bit of this ranch seasoning to my mashed potatoes, just a little. Other than that, I'm just going salt, white pepper, yum. I didn't do a lot of garlic in the mashed potatoes like I usually do, because there's a lot of garlic in the garlic mayo for my artichoke. Girl dinner, mashed potatoes and an artichoke. <laughs> Before I go eat this, I wanted to mention, I cored the stem, because someone told me on my last artichoke TikTok I could do this. You can see I like cut off the sides. It tastes like the artichoke heart. I think it's an extension of the heart. Mm. I think it's officially summer in New York. Like I'm not wearing a jacket and I'm wearing pants and I could very easily be wearing shorts and not be too hot. And I'm just so happy. But I just went to Sephora because the shampoo and conditioner I just had, I really tried to give them a chance. It's by Amika. I love the brand. Like I love their leave-in conditioners. I've tried other things. First I tried their Hydra Rush, way too thick for my hair. And then I tried their vol their like voluminous line or whatever, like their 3D line. And it like felt like it put a wax on my hair. Didn't like that. So I went and I got the Moroccan oil brand shampoo and conditioner because I had a sample of that and I actually really really like it. The girl who helped me exchange was actually saying like yeah the Amika line the first ingredient in their shampoos and conditioners is alcohol which is like so not the purpose of a hydrating shampoo and conditioner so good to know. My body is also feeling a lot better. I went and got acupuncture and cupping yesterday. I feel a lot better but i'm gonna get it readjusted tomorrow and then i feel like maybe like three more sessions of that i think i should be good which i'm so grateful for okay i took a quick shower and now i'm gonna go run to target i'm either thinking target or tj maxx actually maybe tj maxx because i want some new candles and last time i went there for candles they were so cheap and they were so good target's just kind of overpriced I'm getting on a city bike though and I'm hoping it doesn't start raining. <laughs> Yesterday was so nice and then today it's still really warm, but it's been like in and out of thunderstorms all morning. <laughs> Just started raining, literally got here perfect timing. But look at the little baskets. I know I said I need candles, but I also need a hairbrush. My hairbrush is probably like six years old and the I have like 40% of the bristles left and they fall out every time I brush my hair. So I need something way stronger. This is massive, but I do trust this brand, especially for curls. I just don't think I'd be able to travel with that one very nicely. This looks promising and it's only six bucks. I just like anything where the bristles aren't too stiff because then it just like rips through my hair. Found a purple one. Oh my God, and they're color coded. Malibu Breeze. Ooh, coconut milk. Ooh, I like that one. I think I'm getting this one. Lakeside Sunset. What does that smell like? Mmm, <laughs> kind of smells like my new shampoo and conditioner, the um, Moroccan oil one. Apricot and pomelo. <clears throat> it smells like L'Oreal Kids, no tears. Oh, what is this little guy? <laughs> 
That smells like black pepper. What do bell bottoms smell like? <laughs> it's like a holiday candle. Oh my god, mm. Juicy Couture. Mm. Honey Bee. Meh. It smells cheap. If they had their Viva La Juicy as a candle, I clean out stock. I want the candle from last time. You guys remember the candle I had with like the crystals in it? I'm almost done with it and it was from here and they had so many. They're sold out because it was so good, honestly. California? <laughs> no, it's smelling California. Look at this one, it's like a can of soda. Some of these just smell like puff bars to me and that's like triggering. It's people are putting a lot of effort into the packaging, but not the scent. Shoreline. Oh my god, that literally smells like cardboard. Ew, there's like condensation in there too. It's pretty, I like the bottom of this one. Relaxing lavender. Mm. I just like when there's a lid though, because when I blow it out, I don't like the smell of like the smoke. So when there's a lid, you could suffocate it and it doesn't make your house smell. This one's cool, it has like a coaster. Basil and strawberry. Oh, like juicy fruit. This is so cute and it's only $12.99. I don't need any more mirrors in my room, but do I? Maybe, I don't know. They even have little tiny, tiny ones. So cute. Oh my God. Wait, I love to see kinders out here. Sick. Well, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. To put your sponge in. Oh my God, a little mixer. Oh my God, lint rollers. I have been looking for lint rollers everywhere. Obviously, I could have ordered them on Amazon, but like, even my CVS doesn't have any. We are in desperate need. I've been like purposely not wearing black just so I don't have to lint roll. I'm gonna get the pink ones. Look at these chip clips. They look kind of good. I honestly, like, there's infinite possibilities on Amazon. There's so much you can get, but I really do try to not order as much as possible. Call me old fashioned, but like if I could go out and get it, I've told myself to do that instead. So like the lint rollers, for example, I could have got those the day we ran out, but I'm like, no, I refuse. Just a little competition I have with myself, I guess. Okay, that was pretty successful. I didn't buy anything I didn't absolutely need. The hairbrush was also something that I had in my Amazon cart, but I was like, no, I can go get that. I feel very fulfilled. I'm walking back to get a bike right now. I'm gonna head home and then Alex and I are gonna podcast and then we have a Zoom call tonight with our Pelletier on our Patreon. And then I'm just gonna take it easy. I do plan on picking up this vlog tomorrow, or I should say picking up the next vlog tomorrow. Uh, it's a three day weekend, so I actually, we don't have plans at all, but I'm assuming we'll do something fun because it's been really nice. And then Tuesday, I'm filming something. I just like rented out a little set studio, if you will. And I'm filming something I'm really excited for. If you listen to episode 28 of Odd Vice, you know where I'm at emotionally right now. And um, I even just after filming that episode, I do feel a lot better. I'm feeling creative again, which as a creative, if you are a creative, you know how shitty it can feel when you're not in your groove. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for this video I'm gonna film. It's not like a vlog or anything. It's, it's more of a sit down and I'll leave you with that. But I am gonna end this vlog here. I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. It's a three day weekend, so be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, love you guys, bye. Oh my God, a raindrop on my lip, it's starting to rain.